We are so back. We are now sitting with the lovely Rakia Bernard. Aww. You're messing around with me. We <laughs> were messing around with each other earlier. Oh, <laughs> I'm yeah. good. How are you? And I'm good. <laughs> good. Now, we know what you do. I mean, but at a young age, though, did you know you were going to be an actress? No, I didn't. I should have. Um, growing up, my parents had a name for me. It was called Miss Dress Up because <laughs> I was always going into my mom's closet, my sister's closet, my dad's, if I over my cousin's house, their closet, putting on their stuff and, you know, presenting myself. And I'd put on shows for them and make them watch. I'd make them watch, you know. And you, you were one of those kids that your parents would put you in front of the, your, your uh, family and do a little production, were you? Yeah, it wasn't even my parents putting me, it was me it was putting you. me. Yeah, and so my sister would do it too. Ah, okay. She's not a performer, but she, you know, we'd be like, oh, we can do this dance and, yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, but like, I think I had dreams, you know, being a vet, being a princess at one point. <laughs> you know? all, all young girls have the, the princess I think so, that yeah. The yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're classically trained. Yeah. Ballet. Right? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> You know, and didn't that, didn't you feel like you wanted to go that route instead of the acting route? No, because I had, I used to have a really good friend who did go that route. And, um, and she, I mean, I remember watching her drive. Like, she just, she went for it. She went to yeah. a professional ballet. Like, a, like, she left home at, I think, 15 or something to board at this ballet school. My ballet school is amazing, Opera Atelier. Yeah. Um, but uh, she went and like she was going for it. She traveled throughout Europe, auditioning for various companies. I was like, mm, that's not, that's not really for me, you know. But that, I think by that point, that was like high school. I was kind of getting the the bug, like mm, this 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 is the only thing I really enjoy at high school. <laughs> you wanted to travel, or you just no. just the. Uh just to no, shift back I and be meant, in front of the camera. Uh, yeah, I think I wanted to be on stage yeah. and, and just be in front of people and telling stories and, you know, doing that thing. But being a ballerina, no, no it just wasn't, it wasn't my thing. I now, love dancing, though. With, with all that, when your parents put you through all that, I mean, when you decided yeah. that you wasn't going to do it, I mean, what were they thinking? That I, when I wasn't going to... When you wasn't going to do anything with ballet. Oh, my parents, my parents. They didn't, they didn't mind know, too much? They or? didn't mind too much. I mean, like, my parents were both entrepreneurs. Yeah. Like, they're semi-retired now. And, um, but my dad had a couple car washes. My mom had an African art store for 24 years. They gave me quite a bit of independence, actually. Um, so when I decided to become an actor, I was kind of on my own yeah. with that. I was just like, oh, I'm going to take an acting class. We're like, okay, how much do you need? And give me money. What time is it at? Okay, be home by this time. You know, and, and I would just go and do it. And I found various classes right. on my own to do it. I was, I think, by the time I was in high school, I was, especially when I was about to graduate, I was pretty set that, like, yeah. this is what I'm going to do right now. Yeah. yeah. And so all this motivation yeah. to be able to do it by yourself, where did that come from? Oh, God, I don't know. Some, somebody, I, you know. Um, my parents, uh, they, you know, my mom's from Kenya. My dad's from Jamaica. They moved here when they were both in their early 20s, and, yeah. you know, into Toronto. And um, <clears throat> that's not an easy thing to do. You no. know, and they both became successes in their own right, and they're not very good at accepting no for an answer. And I think that somehow got ingrained. I don't yeah. like. I don't like no. <laughs> <laughs> so you like on? If I if I hear no, it's I try on. to figure out why, so that that no can become yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you know, yeah. Um, so I, I don't know. I think the determination it has to be from my parents. I yeah. mean, I just can't imagine myself going to another country and and planting roots and starting a family and starting businesses and like like it's just amazing what they were able to do. Wow. Yeah. That, yeah. that is amazing because, man, it's, it's not easy. No. Especially no. being immigrants. Oh, especially being immigrants, and especially like in the 70s when they were coming. Like, it was, it was mm -hmm. a completely, completely different world in yeah. Toronto. Yeah. Now, now you're the, the actress. You've been on several different sets. <laughs> now, what makes a good actor? Oh, God, don't ask, and, don't ask me I that. Say, <laughs> I was just saying, what makes a good actor a great actor? Gosh, I'm still trying to figure that one out myself. There you um, go. That's something to figure out. I don't know. 
Um, there's, I mean, it depends on like what you judge as yeah. being great. Um, I find that act, we live in such a result-oriented world that we forget that there's a process yeah. to life, you know, and even the art of acting is a process. Mm -hmm. And I mean, right now I'm doing a play and each night is a little bit different. It's not yeah. going to be the same. And, there, and this is a process I'm going through right now. And some shows I'm like, mm, I could have done better or, uh, or sometimes it's like, that's amazing, you know? And, and I think that if I remain a student, that'll help me become the great actor I dream of yeah. being. And, uh, and I, I think that's, for me, in my opinion, right, what I do know right now is I think that um, being a student of life, being a student of your passion mm -hmm. is what makes you great. Nice. Yeah, and I think the judgment of great is for other people to judge, not they, yourself. Because once you start saying, yeah, I'm a great actor, no, no, you're not. You know what happens. You're not, <laughs> yeah, <Exactly>. you know. <laughs> now, and we go on to, how do you now keep longevity in the acting business? Ah, uh, that's a good question too. Um, I think you have to have the passion for it. Yeah. Once, once that fire dies down, the world mirrors that. Yeah. And so, if your fire is dead, well, then the world is dead. You know, the, the acting world is dead. The entertainment industry is dead to you. Yeah. So it, it stops. Um, I, um, when I was pregnant with my, uh, with my son, my second child, um, I didn't work for about a year with pregnancy. And uh, God, it was, it, was, it was really, really tough because I'm watching it and a couple of times I considered, oh, maybe I'll quit acting, you know, maybe I'll move on to something else. I'm still young enough to do that. I'll become mm -hmm. a nurse, go back to school, whatever. And, yeah. and the more I stepped away from it, the more it hurt me so much because I just, I love, love, love playing different people. Right. And, um, and just even having the opportunity, just even to have the opportunity to, to play somebody else yeah. really, really ignites my fire, you know? And I, and I hope that that, no, in that, that thing much. is what keeps the longevity on? going. Yeah. You know, I mean, everyone's path is oh. going to be different, so there's no one route for, oh, you got to do she, this to uh, have a long, sustaining career. I think at its core night. is the passion right. that, that you project. have for what you're doing. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm going to give you the on the grind question yeah. now. Uh-oh, uh-oh, this is the ODG question. You know, you know. So, all the people that are out there, man, they're not classically trained. They don't have this kind of motivation okay. that you have. Yeah. You know, they don't have their parents saying, hey, you know, what, how much do you need? What do you need? Yeah. What can I do for you? Yeah. These people are not getting none of that from anybody. Right. What can you tell them to inspire them to be the next Rakeem Bernard? Oh, gosh, to be me. Don't try to be me. Try to be yourself. There you go. Try to be yourself. I Don't ever, 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 ever try to be anybody other than yourself. You know, um, this industry can be very fickle. Yeah. I know a ton of amazing, amazing, amazing actors who don't work, who can't get an agent. And like the stuff that I've seen them do in class on stage, I'm just like, I'm blown away by it, yeah. you know? And for some reason, it's just not clicking for them, you know? Sometimes I think, there's reality data that you're getting that maybe this path isn't working. So instead of trying to beat down on that wall that's blocking you, right. try a different path. And that's not necessarily, oh ho, <laughs> I, I banged on that wall. Yeah. Um, it's not necessarily um, quitting acting, yeah. you know, but I think it's just having an awareness, a perception that is broad enough that you can go different paths, right. you know? Um, move to a different town, you know, try a different av avenue. Maybe if film and TV's not working, go theater route, you know? Yeah. There's voice working. There's, like, there's so much you can do in this entertainment industry. And, um, but I think you, the, the, the big picture has to be maintained so that you can see, okay, if this is not working, then I can do this, you know? And maintain your options. There you go. It's tough. Now, what's next for you? I know you, uh, we want to talk just got a few minutes. We got a couple yeah. minutes. So okay. I want to make sure you get to 
get something that you're doing. What's next for you? What are you doing right now? Uh, right now, I'm working on a play. Um, it's called Good People. It's on right now at Studio 1398 in Granville Island. Nice. It's starring the incomparable Nancy Civic. She is schooling everybody in what great acting is. Now, she's a great actress. Yeah. Holy smokes. Um, I watch her and I'm like, God, I gotta get back into acting class. <laughs> <laughs> That's on right now until September 29th yeah. um, at Studio 1398 in Granville Island, as I was saying. Nice. Yeah. And Twitter, Facebook? Twitter, Facebook. It's my name, Rakia Bernard, mm -hmm. on Facebook and on Twitter. Rakia, R U K I Y A. Like Broadus, it's a yeah. very unique name. So if you if you type it correctly, <laughs> yes, yes. if you type it correctly, you'll find me. You'll find you. Yeah. Now, quickly sum it up in thirty seconds. Okay. What's your defining moment? Ooh, my defining moment in thirty seconds. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's when I became a mom. Beautiful. Things really changed for me. My perspective on life. There you go. Yeah. And how do you hold it together, being an actress and having a family? Um, lists. <laughs> <laughs> Divine intervention multiple times. Um, I don't know. Sometimes I don't hold it together. <laughs> hey, man, but you're doing it. I just, I just do my best. There you go. Yeah. Hey, I want to thank you for coming. Oh, Valentine, you're a sweetheart. This is Rakia Bernard, <laughs> and I want to thank my man, Broadus Madison, for coming through. Mm -hmm. These two people, yeah, they're gonna yeah. be, they're gonna be back. <laughs> you already know, <laughs> man. If you think it's your time to shine, you need to get on the ground with your man Valentine, baby. This is Rakia Bernard, Broadus Madison. Thanks for coming out of on the Grind TV. You know how we do. On the Grind. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. <laughs>